Hello guys, do you know that there are more than 1 million listings of coffee mugs on Etsy? This means two things for you. First, there is a huge demand of coffee mugs out there. Second, the competition is fierce. The secret of improving your coffee mug sales on Etsy is pretty simple. You need to get eyeballs on your listings. Doing a good SEO will get you the eyeballs. But SEO alone will not help you convert your visitors into customer. You need to impress your visitors with your listing visuals. Using good quality image will help you stand out from the crowd and boost your conversion rate. How you display your product means everything. And you know what? Etsy recently announced feature to include videos on your listing. This is an incredible new feature that you must try out immediately. Videos are immensely powerful to showcase your mugs with your artwork and design. Using videos you could display the full curvature of the mugs which was earlier impossible to showcase. The successful Etsy seller are already making use of video listings. It is time you jump on it too. But perhaps you don't know where to start. Well today, I'll teach you how to create high production quality video listing of your mugs without spending a fortune. The end result will be something like this. Without wasting any more time, let's start. Okay, so hi guys. I have this uh, mug animated mock-up uh, template. I will open this in Photoshop. We have to be patient while we work on, you know, big files that has uh, video capabilities. Okay, so uh, we have a mug. The mug is blank and we have some layers down there. So we have background color uh, using this, you know, uh, you could change the background color maybe if you could add a new color here maybe red and if you go and save this the background color is updated so you know if you could see uh, this is called smart object okay smart object can be identified by the small icon on the bottom right corner and if you want to edit on a smart object, all you have to do is, you know, uh, double click on this icon. Uh, it will open a new tab and then whatever editing you perform here, uh, it will be reflected on the original template. So we'll go back to our original state. Then we'll go to file, uh, save this tab and close this. It is turned back to the original state. So we have background and then we have the mug mockup. So there are different elements there. The mug gloss applies the uh, gloss effect to the mug. Uh, you want to, you can have it or maybe you could, you know, uh, reduce the opacity to just uh, minimize the effect that it has. So let me keep it at 100%. Uh, you can, you know, play with this sliders and change whatever you want. Uh, this is for changing the mug color. So if you open this, uh, this is the mug handle smart object layer again. And this is the mug color. So if you double click on this, it's a color picker actually. So we can change the color here. So whatever color you want, you could uh, change it by here. You could select black or whatever. Then this is the mug inside. Again, we have the color picker and you could perform the color. Okay. So I'm just explaining all the features that we have in this template. A mug bottom. There you go. Then the mug design. Uh, this is where we are supposed to change the design we have the mug body and then we have the mug shadow okay so i'll explain you how to edit the video okay so you know uh, there's one thing that is hidden over here uh, which is the timeline you know uh, if i go to windows and click on timeline there you go you could see a timeline as in you know we have in video editing softwares so if you could see if I click on this play button, it is rotating. Uh, the rotation is very slow here. Do not bother about it uh, because you know uh, Photoshop uh, takes a lot of time to render this on. Once it is rendered, the final output will be much smoother. Okay. So the first thing is uh, if you could go to image and check the canvas size, uh, it is 1080 and 1920. So according to the Etsy guidelines, you know, our video should be of the same aspect ratio of the first listing image. So either we could go to one is to one 
or three is to four whatever is uh, you know convenient uh, for your other listing images so because we could see you know uh, there are a lot of negative spaces here so it's better if you can crop and bring the mug into focus so let's click on crop uh, we could add the ratios one is to one uh, if we add one is to one i think it is pretty good we could lower this uh, we are doing this because you know i'm doing this because uh, we want our mugs to occupy the largest area in the canvas so when we upload in the etsy uh, the image or the design that we want to showcase is clearly visible so we'll click on this correct button and it is cropped now uh, if you want to change the background color we could change this using this do not turn on you could just go double click and change the background color i'll keep it as it now to change the mug design we'll double click on this smart object icon when you double click it opens another you know psb layer and if you could see again it has a timeline and again if you could see that they are again a smart object uh, layers so again we'll click on this uh, smart object icons uh, now this opens up the file we are supposed to change the design so you could see uh, your design here uh, this is the area i mean this two area indicated by the white background if you could just check uh, these are the areas indicated i mean this two space uh, what does this indicate i'll explain so to this here yeah. this explains the region just below, uh, beside this uh, handle okay so we'll keep it as white if you want we could change it to red or whatever you want and we will put our design here uh, we have two design mug design one and mug design two so let me start with mug design one i'll drag it and place it over here okay so as you could see it is complete it does not completely fill the space uh, but i'll you know i'll have to stretch it out to fill it if we do not do that the exact collection i mean the exact warping will not happen uh, you may wonder that the image looks stressed out but uh, this is this is something we have to compromise with for the time being because the design file is smaller you know now once you place this design we'll go to file and click on save close this you could see we'll go to file and save this and voila you have the designs here and as we mentioned you know we kept the uh, space as white here so the area just beside the handle is white uh, if you want we could change it to yellow exactly the same color uh, it's up to you and now if we click on space bar uh, you could see it is rotating pretty cool isn't it to export it uh, it's very simple all we have to go to is file uh, then go to export and then you'll find this option render video now we could you know i'm exporting into the desktop choose uh, don't choose photoshop image sequence choose adobe media encoder format is correct uh, change the settings it is 916 i think this is perfect if you want you could change it to maybe 1400 into 1400 and you know uh, let us have this as 30 because you know uh, what uh, etsy recommend it recommends to have 30 frames per second so we could change the 30 preset progressive document 1.0 and then all frames click on render and according to the speed of your processor uh, this will start exporting the video it will take some uh, take a while so be patient okay so the render video process is complete uh, let us explore the desktop save it into desktop uh, this is the video that we generated let us play this okay so pretty smooth isn't it so this is seven second long okay uh, now if you want to you know uh, create a 14 second or maybe 15 second uh, what we're gonna do is you know i'll open a file open as a smart object i uh, could actually open that smart object in this mug animation
so we'll do that you could see this is actually rotating and now if you want to you know uh, we had seven seconds uh, video so if you want to you know increase this size all you have to do is you know uh, right click on click on duplicate layer and you could just slide this slider and place it on the top so in total we'll have now uh, 14 seconds of video and again we're going to file export and click on render video okay so that is how we go about it you may also want you know uh, instead of it rotating in the uh, anti-clockwise manner if you want it to rotate in the end clockwise manner what we're going to do is you know the layers press ctrl t or command t if you're on mac right click and click on flip horizontal and then we could have all the files are rotating in the opposite direction so this is how you create mug videos using a mock-up template thank you for watching this tutorial till the end i know this process may be overwhelming and time consuming for you you can go ahead and hire a team to create similar mock-ups for you at a minimal cost to learn more visit www.bulkmockup.com